Hello everyone. A uh, while ago, back on eBay, I was uh, looking around for some uh, deals on bayonets, and I came across this listing. It said uh, German three three piece bayonet, and I looked at it, and it was going really cheap. And it's a three piece because this is the inside of the scabbard. This uh, these springs on each side go down inside the scabbard there and when you push the bayonet in it uh, holds it in place keeps it from jumping out but the uh, little screw that goes right here and into here uh, was missing so that was coming out uh, so I ended up getting this pretty cheap I forget what I paid I uh, got it home and I was going to tap this out, put my own screw in, never got around to it, threw it in a box and dug it out uh, um, recently and uh, decided just to look on eBay see if I could find the uh, screw and found one. came from Czechoslovakia but uh, it was only a buck so I'm going to uh, get it back together. Uh, this bayonet is marked 7391 with a small case A underneath and on this side it's uh let's see S slash 173K not sure what they mean uh, the scabbard unfortunately doesn't match the uh, bayonet it's got a 203 with a small case C underneath Oh, and on this side it's uh, CQH40. Um, I'm going to assume 40 is the year it was made, so I imagine this bayonet saw um, a lot of uh, a lot of use during the war. Um, so probably get it uh, get it together. I don't know if I'll sell it, keep it, whatever, but. Uh, I uh, thought it'd be interesting to show the insides of the, uh, at least the German bayonet, what it looks like.